Well, the triangle and everything that he wants is so easy. His arm is, is, is under attack. I got way too much space to defend the time. More than likely, you're going to get the opposite reaction, which is somebody trying to square up and snap you and push you down, make sure that you can't get up the elbow. The other reaction that they're going to have is they're going to tuck the, the, the thigh here, or they're going to be able to push your knee down so that they can step over. If they do step over, then you've got to start off, you've got to start over. Okay? You've got to put your knee shield back in, get this position back. Okay? Once you step on it. When the, when the hand comes to the knee, all you have to do is make a I, I don't really like to grab a seat grip here because I feel like so like he grabs the seat grip on my wrist and he pushes it through. Now his arm is kind of in his own way for a second. It will get out of the way, but, but it's in his own way for a second when he when he goes for his triangle. Right? So when I'm pushing down on the knee, I actually just like to use like a like a palm strike on my knuckles, like forward, not forward, like that, and push my fingers in. Like that. Okay? And once once I'm here, then he can lock his triangle. Right? So there's just two different two different grip breaks. The one where you kick the, butt, the, the elbow into the air and jump rope, and then the knuckle strike down on my knuckles into his guard. Like that. Okay? And then he'll be able to lock his rope. Now, the next thing that we're going to do, let's switch back. The next thing we're going to do, another reaction that you might get in this position, I might have an overhook, is this person is kind of just grabbing onto my collar, staying tight, and using his forehead just like this. Okay? And then it can be hard to get inside his arm but it's hard to get inside hand position on his arm. Once I get up to my elbow, it's easy for him to grab my tricep and pull me down off of my elbow, okay? So head position is really important here. It's gonna be hard for me to get head position here, okay? I can't get my head to the inside. He's using his head as a, as a fit defender, all right? So here's what we're gonna do. I take my hand out, I force collar grip. I push my hip back and step on his, his, uh, his hip. Now I climb and I bite my knees around his shoulder. When I have this position, I can stretch my body, come up on my elbow, and start to rotate my hips to face the neck. Okay. So he's sacrificing head position just to stay tight. Right? He's sacrificing head position just to make sure that I don't get a triangle. This is really what he's doing. I can't make enough space for my triangle here. So I take my horse collar grip, stretch my body, climb my knees, and pinch him around his shoulder. Notice how my foot is down on the small of his back. It's not up here anymore on the small of his back. Like my instep is curling around his hip bone right here. Okay, and the other foot is just pushing and pinching. I stretch my body. Don't come up on your elbow like this. He's gonna push you back down. So I make like a kickstand. Way far away, push me back down. Okay, he's carrying my weight now, look. My weight's floating. I turn my knees, put him on the ground, and I start walking my body towards his head. Okay. What's that motion you're doing with your upper body there? Um, so I, okay, so good question. Pinching my foot through his hip on this side. My instep is curling around his hip bone on this side. My instep on, is curling around his front of his hip bone on the other side. I have that horse collar grip that we were talking about. I pinch my knees, that's what's keeping his posture down. As I stretch my body, I almost belly down here. I almost belly down so that he's carrying my weight. I put both my knees together by his shoulder on the ground. And now I push my body towards his head. 